So here we are at Wood End, which is a woodland. This is the bridle path uh, that I follow to, to, to do some of my drawings and paintings. So um, we're coming up to a, a clearing soon on the left, but it's just a wonderful day because there's sun coming through the trees and you've got all of the lovely light effects and there's a little bit of a breeze. So there's a rustling going on, which is nice. Walking at quite a, a pace because it will be a few steps more before I get to the clearing that I'm going to in order to be able to draw and paint. So I've been checking this out for a while, or we have been checking this out for a while, and it's just a really nice contained area with a mix of trees and it's just off the beaten track so to speak. And I know my way because when I get to this seat I know that the little entrance is just coming up here on the left hand side. So I'll walk into it and show you all about it. So here we are, coming into it now. So this is where I'm going to be doing my paintings today. And I'll just give you a little bit of a tour around so you can see the lovely way in which the light comes into this area. And just a really inspiring place to do some painting. And I'll be doing very quick study. It's a 20 minutes or less here. So here it is. So I'll get set up and get going. Hi, so I've spent a few minutes getting everything set up. So I've got my board here and I've got my paints and my mixed media work, um, different materials sort of set out and some twigs that I've just collected. So I'm going to get started doing some painting and I'll share with you as I go. See you in a minute. So here we are in the woods and I've pinned clipped my paper to uh, a big board. It's an A3 size piece of cartridge paper, 220 grams. And I'm really just recording my response in these paintings to what's in front of me. So I'm trying not to get too thinky. I'm really just uh, being quite expressive and uh, putting down, if you will, my feelings on the, on the, on the paper with the paint. So it's very loose and I'm trying to get a variety of marks to reflect the different things I'm feeling and seeing in front of me. And not everything that I showed you on the image previously um, is, is included. So I've got a couple more different things um, that you can see here. Uh, so uh, the uh, large brush I just used wasn't on there and then I'm using Inktense pencils now. And then uh, in a minute you'll see me use some other things. So this, this um, jar, I have some raw umber acrylic paint with, mixed with water. And I'm using that for the darks here. And I'm trying to vary how I'm making the marks. So the brush is twisting and I'm wiping it onto the sheet in different ways. And now I'm flicking uh, to get a sort of a splattering of the paint. And I'm using it on its side now. just trying to get variety and trying to express and present my feelings about what I'm seeing in front of me and using the tools to create the different marks to do that. And so now I'm using twigs that I found on location and here although that wasn't shown on the image either is some Indian ink. I only used that in a couple of the images and I didn't find it worked that well, so um, I didn't use it for all of them. And then what I'm going to do with these images is that I'm probably, they're not necessarily finished pieces, I'm going to take them back to the studio. I'm not thinking about composition when I'm creating them, I'm just thinking about trying to record my feelings of place. So when I get back to the studio I'm going to rip them up and think more carefully about the composition and then reconfigure them in a kind of collage approach. And I do that in various ways, and um, I'll, that will be uh, in a separate video. I'm still sort of playing around with how I do that. <laughs> 